What's up, everybody? This is Dad to bring you guys another video. I'm here to bring you guys a discomforting article that was posted on VG247 that makes me, uh, in the future, uh, as a gamer, completely, um, I would say, reluctant to move on to. Uh, <clears throat> so this has to do with Ubisoft, okay? And the future of cloud gaming. They uh, titled the article, Ubisoft expects one last console generation before the cloud takes over. Now, let me make this very clear, folks. To me as a gamer, the day that the cloud takes over as a gamer is the day I stop gaming. Okay? you already seen the vast majority of games are cloud-based, full-on not working. The vast majority of people around the world of every continent, Europe, Asia, you know what I'm saying? Especially a lot of a lot of privileged air, uh, places in Asia. Um, <clears throat> South Korea has the I think the highest bandwidth, uh, highest um, internet speed. Uh, I think it's I don't know. I, I think it's like uh, 20 gigabyte fiber optics. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, and here in America, uh, there's millions of people who don't even have internet. And to see this as the future of gaming, where people are not able to play their games because they don't have a consistent internet speed, uh, it's not good. Even people who have high speed internet, like myself, who has a 400 megabits per second internet speed, uh, even still, every once in a while, you know what I'm saying, every blue moon, you know what I'm saying, it's extremely rare, but every blue moon, I have some type of disconnection from uh, the ISP, or there were some weather effects that affected the fiber optics or affected Mantana, whatever the case may be, there are a lot of uh, factors that uh, do not permit a consistent internet speed. There's, uh, you know, also bottlenecking from the ISP, uh, so they can, you know, really not give you the genuine speed that you deserve. You know what I'm saying? Which is why these companies need to be, um, <clears throat> which is why this company need uh, these companies need to be sued. And number th uh, thing three is that fact that um, you know this whole uh, the debate between net neutrality and whatnot. Um, you know what I'm saying is causing massive controversy and a complete bridge uh, or division between those who support and who are against it. So. Folks, uh, you already seen some games that don't even do well uh, when it comes to cloud base. You saw the debacle of Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition for Nintendo Switch cloud base. Folks, the even Capcom said themselves uh, came out with a statement saying that don't expect your saves. Don't depend. Don't depend on your saves for Resident Evil 7. You, I mean, this is unfathomable. This is unfathomable. And you know this game was mostly catered to people who lived in uh, Japan, who lived uh, in like with high, really high speed internet, like myself uh, in America, or those uh, who probably live in South Korea. You know what I'm saying? In those regions, nations. So um, you've seen what's another example of a terrible cloud-based game. Um, you'll be seeing people lose their saves uh, for cloud-based games. I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying even with Steam. Steam has a cloud-based system, which I am actually part of. Uh, of actually for all my games, I, all my my saves are cloud-based. You know what I'm saying? Which doesn't bother me too much because um, usually when I complete a game, I don't go back to it for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? Unless that game is extremely addicting and to the point that I don't want to lose my saves. And I think that only happened to me with one game, and I was Dark Souls Prepared Die Edition before this remastered version came out. So, um, it's not good. But anyway, um, Ubisoft came out with, a, I'm sorry, uh, BG247 came out with an article. Again, we're gonna repeat the article. You can go see it for yourself. Ubisoft expects one last console generation before the cloud takes over. I want to reiterate before I read this article that the day that cloud gaming makes its way uh, to gaming period, regardless of who the, uh, uh, the platform is, is the day I stop gaming completely. Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC, whatever the, the platform is, I will never, ever, ever uh, engage in gaming. I will completely 100% um, either <laughs> pirate games, and I'm just like, <laughs> uh, uh, stick with the games that have a massive backlog that I have, uh, or um, just stop gaming, engage in another hobby, uh, engage in, in, a, in a musical instrument, um, other hobbies. Uh, Speaking multiple languages, I will be able to concentrate in trying to speak my other languages without having to be interrupted through my uh, enjoyment of gaming. Um, I would completely stop gaming. Period. With all platforms, this is terrible. Anyway, let me read you the article. So, cloud it says cloud gaming is the future. The Ubisoft CEO, Yves uh, Guillemont, um, believes we'll see one last console generation before now, before everything. Sorry, I can't read right now. <clears throat> Before everything moves to streaming services, speaking in an interview with Variety, Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemont. What a weird name! I don't know. Is that guy Indian? 
and whatever. So anyway, it says uh, said he expects the next generation of hardware to be the last, and streaming games will become the norm. He may not be far off from the assessment. Ubisoft is one of the larger publishers in the industry, is cognizant of market trends, and has direct uh, line to console manufacturers. Plus, Sony recently announced the PlayStation 4 has nearing the phase of its life cycle, and PS5 decades are already being sent to developers, according to rumors from variety, uh, various insiders. I think, and he said. I think we will see another generation, but there's a good chance that step by step we will see we will, we will see less and less hardware. Okay, I think I want to stop right there. You guys can read the article for yourself. Okay, um, I think the only company who who uh, fares well in this uh, in the aspect of cloud gaming is probably going to be Nintendo. Nintendo is still going to be making consoles literally to I think the end of time. Um, that's one company we can probably depend on, even though uh, Nintendo has been really incompetent in the past with. Me personally, for Nintendo Wii and the Wii U, but to see uh, cloud game potentially be in the future, which very well may be so. Okay, very well may be so. I mean, we're already seeing games that no longer are complete day one. They need required day one patches. Games are so big in size, even remastered versions. And I really think uh, still be due to the laziness of developers. I mean, games like I think Dark Souls remastered on on the on the um. On the play <clears throat> on the PlayStation 4 requires I mean it says eight gigabytes on on the uh, actually that's not a good example uh, take a game like God of War 3 remastered terribly optimized on PlayStation 4 that game requires I think 30 to 40 gigabytes of hard drive space on the PlayStation 4 okay now that game also required a big amount of space on the PlayStation 3 as well we're talking about 30 some gigabytes as well God of War Ascension even bigger I think 30 uh, 35 gigabytes a prequel to God of War 1. So this game um, be, uh, is a perfect example of why you can, uh, these companies are too lazy to compress their games. I mean, why would you release a remastered version of a game that's almost as big as original? You see hard, massive hard drive space. Uh, you see um, people are now dependent on day one. I mean, not just day one updates, but constantly updates of other games. If they don't have access to these updates, they can't do nothing. The Xbox One was obsolete if you had no internet. If you had no uh, internet whatsoever, no matter what the speed was, you could not, you couldn't do anything unless you got a copy of a save from a friend or a family member. You had literally no internet. You were screwed. The Xbox One is unplayable. The Nintendo Wii U was unplayable. The PlayStation 4, interestingly enough, is not unplayable. But a lot of games are also unplayable on the PS4. Mortal Kombat X is another example of a game you cannot play without a day one patch. I believe it's it just only like all offline portions, and I think. That's pretty much it. But I think I read that Mortal Kombat X was completely obsolete. You couldn't do anything. You couldn't play single player, nothing. You had to have the day one patch just to play the offline content, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. But, folks, this is not good. Diablo 3 requiring you to have an uh, online connection, you know what I'm saying, at all times to play a heavily single player based game. Do you see what's wrong with the future? And we've seen this like years ago, you know what I'm saying, with games I believe like. Um, uh, what's the game called? It, it was a Ubisoft. It was, it was an Ubisoft. It was an EA title released years ago. It was an it was a single player RPG uh, published by EA, and uh, I don't think it did well, so it, it fell off. I think it was called The Reckoning. I think that was what it's called. I can't, I can't remember. It's at the tip of my tongue. But it was um, a title, I believe, that was released. Oh no, Kingdoms of Amular. Kingdoms of Amular, a game I believe where you could not even play without any uh online connection i mean that that is crazy what the future holds for gaming and it scares me you know what i'm saying but probably for the best everything's getting bad nowadays everything you know what i'm saying that the real golden gate uh, days of, of gaming are really coming to a close you know what i'm saying but uh you know and how microsoft is going to do the same thing you need to do 24-hour check-ins and whatnot your comps will be absolute elite and the, the fans, I mean, just initiated a massive outcry. I mean, I don't understand why these companies don't see that. I mean, real talk. I mean, I don't know what to say. 3DS completely, you can play without any online connection. You know what I'm saying? Nintendo may be the only company in the future, potentially. You know, because someday they may succumb to it. But they may be the only company, potentially, that will not do this. I don't know. What do you guys think about the con about uh, cloud gaming taking over in the future? Let me know in the comment section. God bless, and uh, I will be uploading a video about some rumors of that that's been going on, you know, for Nintendo. I may not even bother, but anyway, you guys have a good day.